Tonight, Kansas is set to have a presidential preference primary in 2024, costing taxpayers millions of dollars. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly signed that bill into law today. 27 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung is live at the State House to tell us how much it actually could be in that new election cost. David, the primary could cost taxpayers about $5 million. This plan sparked a heated debate here in the House, with some lawmakers split on whether taxpayers should have to be stuck with the cost. A process usually run by state political parties will now be open to Kansas voters. But election officials say it could cost about $4.7 million. This doesn't even make any sense at all. The parties themselves should have to pay, not the, not the people. The people shouldn't have to pay for this. This is the people's money. The one-time election is set for March 19th next year, with advance ballots going out 20 days prior to the election. Kansans would be able to decide who will be on the ballot for the 2024 presidential primary. State political parties usually foot the bill for vetting presidential primary candidates ahead of the election through local party meetings, then forward it to the national convention for a final vote. Supporters are hoping the new system to open it up to a statewide vote will boost turnout and put Kansas on the map for potential candidates. I know a number of other candidates made uh, airport and whistle stops, but uh, they didn't pay attention to us, and I want Kansas's voice to matter. Now this election will be open to anyone registered as a Democrat or Republican in 2024. Unaffiliated voters would be able to register for that party at the polling place on Election Day. For now, reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, Rebecca, important information there.